Orion, ready to deploy LSAM for orbital test. Frigid silent darkness a million miles from Earth, an immense space telescope scans the heavens. Shielded from the Sun, Earth, and Moon, it pursues profound mysteries. How do planets form? How did matter come together to make the first stars and galaxies? Where among the stars might we find life? Astronomers worldwide will seek answers using the unprecedented capabilities of the Webb Space Telescope. Telescopes work best from dark locations above as much of our turbulent atmosphere as possible. A telescope above it all can see much finer detail and capture invisible colors of light that are blocked by the atmosphere. Beginning in 1990, we deployed a series of great observatories into space, making discoveries that have revolutionized our understanding of the universe. But these pioneering space telescopes have limits. Spitzer's modest mirror size means it cannot resolve fine details. Hubble cannot see far into the invisible infrared. With its enormous mirror, Webb will gather 60 times the infrared light that Spitzer can and will see as sharply as Hubble. Webb's design is driven by astronomers' need for a next-generation infrared observatory. Infrared is key to penetrating dusty shrouds where stars and planets are born, and to capturing the light emitted by the earliest stars and galaxies. Coated in gold that reflects infrared light, Webb's light-gathering mirror segments are made of the exotic element beryllium, which maintains its shape at very low temperatures. Light reflected by the mirrors is focused to cameras and spectrographs behind them. Layers of reflective insulation stretched across an area the size of a tennis court form a sun shield that protects the telescope from the intense light and heat of the sun, earth, and moon. The telescope must be kept at 40 degrees above absolute zero or its own infrared glow will overwhelm the faint sources of light that astronomers are trying to observe. On the hot side of the observatory, solar panels make electricity from sunlight and radio antennae communicate with Earth. In space, Webb will loop around a point called L2. Here, Earth's gravity pulls the telescope along so it can keep up with Earth in its path around the Sun. Only from L2 are the Sun and Earth always on the same side of Webb's sunshield. An Ariane 5 rocket contributed by the European Space Agency will launch Webb into space. During its voyage to L2, the telescope will unfold like a flower. And then begins a decade-long bonanza 
the best science proposed by scientists in competition around the world. Under construction is the premier telescope of the next decade. A next generation space telescope designed to cause yet another giant leap forward in our understanding of the cosmos. It will carry some of the most advanced technologies ever placed on an orbiting observatory. Eighteen articulated mirror segments, 2.75 times the diameter of Hubble's primary mirror. Micro shutters, wavefront sensing and control subsystem, 12 by 18 meter, 5 layer captain based sun shield. The Webb Telescope. A revolutionary tool, able to study every phase in the history of our universe. The Webb Telescope.